Welcome to Alcohello. My name is Think Twice Mike, and I'm here to teach you about 1908 Empress Gin. Obviously, a really cool color. It is made with all the same botanicals as a regular gin. However, it has a butterfly pea blossom in it. And so the butterfly pea blossom is what gives it this awesome like violet color and also allows it to, when you're mixing it with citrus, change color actually. So it's a color changing gin, really, really cool stuff. I have yet to try it, so I am going ahead and pop the bottle open and gonna give it a little review. Definitely has a, uh, like a dry gin um, smell or nose to it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it, look at that beautiful color on that. Bright purple, velvet, whatever you wanna call it. On here, they say it is a jewel tone. This is jewel, the color of jewel. Hmm. Anyway, Vicky's out. So I'd say it's just a slightest bit, almost sweeter than a, like a dry gin. I, I have um, a lot of good, vibrant botanicals coming through. Very aromatic. Comes right through this nose. You can smell all the flavors that you can taste. This one is 42.5% alcohol, so it's actually a little bit of an overproof. Uh, 80, 85 proof instead of the regular 80. So um, this is um, distilled in British Columbia in Canada. So uh, here we go. We're going to make four different drinks starting with a gin and tonic, a rosemary gin and tonic. So here we go. This one's going to be called the rosemary gin and tonic. I'm just adding a regular, basically gin and tonic with some rosemary. I'm going to use a rosemary tincture or basically a rosemary vodka sprayed over the top of it. Just add a little flair. And of course, I'm using my favorite tonic water or mixer, Fever Tree. Fever Tree is all natural and high quality ingredients. Um, makes this stuff, so it comes in these perfect little uh, six, six, uh, 6 6.8 ounce bottles, so perfect for a little mixer. You probably wanna use about half of this uh, every time you make a drink. So it's uh, perfect for a couple cocktails. So here we go. We're gonna start off with two ounces of our beautiful Jewel Gin, right, into the mixer. And so this, I'm actually just doing this so you can see the color changing process in this that, uh, that there is. So I'm just gonna take a, a half of a lemon um, and just squeeze it and show you that you can clearly tell that has changed color and now made a nice, vibrant, beautiful color for you. So, um, that wasn't even quite half a uh, lemon, just uh, enough to give you a good feel for what this gin can do when you add a little bit of lemon. So we're gonna go ahead and put that right in the glass, along with some ice. And of course, spilling ice all over the table, as usual here at Alcohello. So then, we'll go ahead and chill this a little bit down, give it a little swirl and we will pop open our Fever Tree tonic water. This is premium mixer right here. And you don't wanna go, like I said, more than half of it. Uh, so no more than three ounces. That is kind of a preference. Um, but, uh, but a lot of people seem to follow that rule of thumb with the gin and tonics. So this is what I like. I just wanna give you a little stir here and uh, show you what this gin and tonic can do. So drop a little lemon, um, and then again with my rosemary tincture, we'll just spritz a couple spritz over the top just to give it a nice good rosemary feel. Mm, that smells delicious. And then we will take a little sprig of rosemary just to garnish it up a little bit. And now let's go ahead and give it a taste. Oh, light, refreshing, beautiful. Still a little bit of rosemary coming through and uh, the lemon with this stuff really goes well. So, on to the next drink. All right, this one's gonna be called the Rosemary Gimlet. 
or Empress Gimlet or Queen's Gimlet or something with Rosemary and Gimlet involved. So we got the uh, two, we're gonna start off with your two ounces of your color changing gin, Empress 1908, oh yeah. And so what I did here was I made a Rosemary Simple, very, very simple. Um, it is just hat one to one ratio, sugar and water. And I, while, while cooking down the sugar, I added a little rosemary, tossed one in the bottle and let it sit for a little while too. So uh, it's probably gonna have a big rosemary flavor. I think rosemary is gonna go really good again with this drink. So one half an ounce or a half an ounce of your Rosemary Simple. And then we'll do a three quarters ounce of lime. A gimlet is very, very simple. Three quarters ounce of lime and simple and whatever spirit um, of your choosing. So, of course. So now we're just gonna give this a quick shake. Like I said, simple three ingredients, simple syrup, spirit, little lime juice, and shake a root. And you can see, it comes out with a beautiful finish. And you can garnish this any way you want. A piece of rosemary, a little uh, lemon wheel for beauty. Or you can garnish it with a lime peel or whatever you may think. But there you have it. I just wanted to take a nice little picture here. Hold on, let's give it a taste. Wow, this is really good gimlet. This is a very, very good gimlet. I am highly impressed. A lot of the rosemary is coming through, but honestly, what my main concern is, is that I can taste all the gin and I can. Very, very botanical, a little bit of rosemary, not too much, and a perfect little gimlet. So there you have it. All right, on to the next drink. This one is going to be called the Empress Cucumber Smash. I'm doing this one because I really like the flavors with gin, cucumber, and elderflower. Again, shout out to Beaver Tree grabbing this elderflower tonic. So basically what I'm going to try to do is make a gin mojito and top it off instead of soda water with the elderflower tonic. Um, and it's going to just have cucumber in it as well. So we'll start off with a couple slices of cucumber and we'll go ahead and drop in a good six or eight mint leaves and then we'll go ahead and give this a quick muddle just a quick little press don't want to break up the mint too much even though I will uh, need to crush up that cucumber quite a bit just to get the juices out and so now we will go ahead and add lime juice three quarters of an ounce of lime juice right into the mixing glass bada boom then we'll do just a small half an ounce of simple sugar, just to balance out that lime juice that we put in it, just a half an ounce there, quite easy. And then we'll back that, of course, with our two ounces of beautiful color changing gin. Empress 1908, with the butterfly pea blossom. That's, that's how you do it, okay? And then you'll go ahead now and give this a good shake. All right. And now that we're all stirred up, we'll take our crushed ice. You can kind of see I already have mint in there because I am going to strain this cocktail into this glass. Quick double strain will happen. Oh yeah. may have waited too long with this crushed ice. So now I'm gonna have to top it up and uh, we don't have very much room. But we'll go ahead and use this elderflower tonic again, right on the top. Maybe an uh, ounce to two ounces, depending on how much room you have left in your glass. No more than three ounces, of course, like I said before. And we'll give this a little mix here. And then we will go ahead and garnish with our 
mint, liven it up a little bit. A little mint spray, and maybe a little wedge of cucumber right here on the side. All right, well, let's see how it tastes. Always remember, wooden straws, paper straws, anything that doesn't kill the turtles, of course. Oh yeah, this is a really good drink. I don't know why I say, oh yeah, every time, but I do, and it's really good. Yeah, you, the cucumber, mint, the whole thing is coming through, especially with the gin, it goes really nicely. Very well-balanced drink. I, I even say that uh, you could probably top it up with a little more of that elderflower tonic, because that is good stuff really coming through. A vibrant drink for you today here at Alcohello. Look at that. All right. And we're moving on to our, I guess, fourth and final drink made with the Empress 1908. And here it comes. Okay, okay. Welcome to the last drink. This is going to be called the Royal Hawaiian. This is a tiki style drink. Um, a little riff on the uh, Smuggler's Cove version of the Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Pua. I know that sounds really weird, but it is a riff on that cocktail and it's made with this vibrant, beautiful gin. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first ingredient is going to be orgeat. You do not have to use this, but this is a almond sweetener. You can use any type of sweetener. However, this one really makes the drink uh, pop. And so we'll go ahead and use a half an ounce of this almond sweetener. So essentially what this is is half almond milk, half sugar, and a little bit of orange flower water and reduced over a stove top to make this syrup. So then we'll go ahead and use an ounce and a half of fresh pineapple juice. If you don't have fresh, that's fine. It, any pineapple juice will do, but an ounce and a half right in the shaker. And last but not least, we'll do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Let's see if we can get, oh, that's pretty close enough. Three quarters ounce of lemon right in the shaker. And so what's fun about this drink is you're not actually going to put the liquor in it until the very last stage of the drink. So that's kind of fun. So we'll uh, go ahead and shake this without the, the liquor in it. And so we'll just give it a shake. And then we will go ahead and put this right into the glass. Just like so. And now we'll take our beautiful purple gin, and on top of that, we will do two ounces of the gin, like so. And that leaves you a nice floater of the purple, beautiful drink. Now we'll go ahead and garnish a couple pineapple fronds here, shove them down into the drink, and place a couple pineapples up top, and don't forget, wooden straw, bamboo straw. So you can kind of stir in that uh, gin now and give it a taste. So let's go ahead and uh, stir. Oh my God. This is by far my favorite drink out of the four. Um, just because I'm obsessed with Ojat. <laughs> but, but besides that, um, this obviously looks beautiful and is absolutely stunningly delicious. It has a perfect balance to it because of the dryness of the gin and the sweetness of the pineapple and orgeat together. So uh, the lemon just kind of balances it out as well. So there you have it, the Royal Hawaiian. Thank you so much for watching Alcohello. These are your four gin drinks using the Empress 1908 Velvet Purple, whatever you want to call it, gin. It's color changing, you can clearly tell by the cocktails I've made, um, all the way from a light to dark. Um, so very, very good, and I can't stop drinking this one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Alco. I hope you subscribe. Please join us next time on the next video. Click all the links, subscribe, like, you know it. See you next time.